Our life is made up of choices. We adopt different behaviors in different contexts, and we want to achieve success in these behaviors. Let's take a look at a PhD student. Leading research project into a publication is a success. This paper publishing behavior is defined by the interaction between multi-type context items, such as co-authors, keywords, target conference, and references. What if we can predict the probability of our paper being accepted before the submission? Not confident enough? How about recommending some great papers to read, or recommending some co-authors to join the research project? But how can we achieve this? Building a huge feature matrix for factorization seems not a good idea. There are more than 100,000 papers published in computer science last year. We need a computational model that is able to scale to massive behavior data set. How about we put context items into a network so that we can use network embedding methods? One problem is that these methods are designed for similarity search based on the notion of pairwise proximity. What we need is to learn the structure of success collectively, which means we are looking for complementary co-authors, but not necessarily similar to ourselves. This is where LearnSuck can help. It's a framework designed to effectively and efficiently learn behavior success from a massive behavior dataset. LearnSuck is composed of two modules. The first module is a novel embedding-based learning method we call it multi-type item set embedding. In this method, we treat each behavior as a set structure containing multiple types of context items so that we can learn the low-dimensional representation of context items and in the meantime, preserving the item set structure. Then, in the second module, we fit the item set representations from the previous step into a logistic regression model so that we can predict success rate and recommend complementary items. With LearnSuck, there are a lot of interesting things. You can predict the success rate of a real published paper or a fake paper. We also found papers that have higher estimated success rates tend to be cited more according to Google Scholar. So want to get more citations of your paper? Remember to ask LearnSuck to give some recommendations when you start working on a new research project next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check our paper and the open source release. If you need something more exciting, we also have a website demo system. You can compose any paper you like online and check the prediction and recommendation results immediately.